All right, week 16, time for your picks. No Thursday game, so that's a good thing. But yeah, but here, we, but here we go. First up, Miami Dolphins take, taking on the Buffalo Bills in an AFC East matchup. The Dolphins still need to win out in order to even have a chance at, at a playoff berth. Hell, they could still, hell, at this point, they're still alive for the AFC East. Uh, but I got a feeling the Miami Dolphins are going to blow it. So I'm going to take Buffalo and flow here. Second game, the 4-10 Buccaneers taking on the 6-8 St. Louis Rams. Rams played okay. Rams played pretty damn good against the New Orleans Saints. But it's quite full of time. Tails. Hey, you know what? No one's gonna give a fuck about this matchup. I'm gonna take the Buccaneers. Dallas Cowboys, here we go. Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Redskins. There are quite a few people taking the Washington Redskins, whether by ESPN, NFL Network, or otherwise. Because let's be honest here, the Cowboys fucking blew it. They had a chance to regain the a NFC East lead after the Eagles lost to the Vikings, and they couldn't fucking do it. So, and for some reason, I think their lack of confidence after the twenty-six to three, after blowing that twenty-six to three lead, I think it's gonna ha I think it's gonna sadly carry over to the Washington game. You know, I could give two shits less. I gotta take the Redskins. I don't know why I'm taking the Redskins. I, 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 I don't know. I haven't learned my lesson, I guess. But <laughs> yeah, whatever there. But yeah, the the December. But the but the December curse has came back to the Cowboys this year sooner than expected. I figured they'd win a couple games. Uh, that has not happened. I thought they would get over their December rows, and they obviously haven't. It's not like they were facing good fucking teams. I mean, let's, let's be realistic here. Moving on. Okay, other than Chicago, but that was about it. All right, moving on. Colts taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs still have something to play for. The Colts don't really have anything to play for. Plus, the Colts are worse today than they were a few months back. I like Kansas City here. All right, Browns taking on the New York Jets. Last chance to get it for the Browns to get another win before the end of the season. So I'm going to take Cleveland. <laughs> Titans taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, I know the Jaguars let me down last week, but I'm taking the Jaguars to win here. I know... Uh, Mike Munchak, people are saying Mike Munchak's job is on the line. Well, guess what? His job is all his job he's all, he's already lost his job. I mean it's just a matter of time. So yeah, I'm gonna take the Jaguars. Alright. Cincinnati Bengals hosting the Minnesota Vikings. I'm gonna take the Cincinnati Bengals, but the Bengals are on upset alert. Let's be real realistic here. If there was a good time for the Ravens to root for the to root for a home for a Bengals home loss, it would be this Sunday. But Cincinnati will win. All right, here's a good game rematch of two weeks ago: New Orleans Saints, Carolina Panthers. And guess what? This time, I've got the Carolina Panthers winning this game. I'm sorry, New Orleans. New Orleans is just not good enough to, to beat the same team twice. I know, I know, this, I know that they're three and zero after a loss this season. But those three wins after a loss came at home. They have to go back on the road, 
And uh, <laughs> sorry, but but the Panthers are just a better whatever there. All right, Broncos taking on the Houston Texans. Let's be honest here. Houston still has a good defense. Yeah, Watts not getting the no, no shit. Rock Watts not getting the numbers. Yeah, no shit. No one. Daniel, I, mean, I didn't expect Watt, Watt to get the same numbers as he did last year. It's kind of hard to do that in today's National Football League because everybody's game planning for that particular person, whether it be quarterback, running back, receivers, or, you know, defensive linemen, whatever. If anyone's expecting Denver to just come into Houston and blow out the and just simply blow off the Texans because of that loss to the Chargers. I don't think so. Because the Texans still have a good defense. Denver's still going to win the game, but it's not going to be 48-17 uh, to 17 as everybody's trying to, to, to make it out to be. Whatever there. All right. Moving on to the later games. Seahawks. Cardinals. NFC West. Now, the Cardinals, since since their loss to Jacksonville, that Jacksonville, since their first loss to to Seattle, the Cardinals have been playing a whole hell of a lot better. But then again, they've had a whole hell of a lot easier of a schedule. I mean, it's kind of hard to not beat Jacksonville, but they other teams make it seem so fucking hard. But whatever there. Uh, uh, however, the Seahawks are going to sweep the Arizona Cardinals. It's just simple as that. Look for Seattle to not only win the game, but win the win the NFC West and clinch home field advantage throughout the NFC playoffs. I mean, it's just simple as that. You had a nice run in Arizona, but no. Giants taking on the Lions. Well, it's quite simple. The Lions need to, to, to win the game in order to stay alive for the NFC North. But I like the New York Giants to play spoiler. Although I should change that pick now. In fact, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, hey, it's, I'm changing my mind. Yeah, I'm taking the Lions. Fuck it. Because they're the des they, cause, because they are the desperate team at home. Simple as that. Raiders taking on the Chargers. Chargers, end of story. It's going to be close, but Chargers are going to win. All right, Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Green Bay Packers. Uh, listen. Listen, it, it's nice that the Green Bay Packers were able to shut down Tony Romo and uh, forced Tony Romo to make game-choking interceptions and shit like that. Congrats. But this, but the Green Bay Packers defense still has issues. I mean, yeah, the Steelers defense is getting old and all that shit. They're not great either. No one's saying it is. Expect this one to be a shootout. I'm taking the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't think, again, I don't, because Aaron Rodgers is once again out. I mean, congrats that they beat the Cowboys, but... I'm not convinced yet. Sorry. All right. Patriots taking on the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens have had their number, have had the Patriots number as of late. And yeah, Joe Flacco has a MCL sprain or whatever. But guess what, though? I'm going to take the Baltimore Ravens. This will be the time where the Patriots finally lose two consecutive games. I have failed the first, what, three times? Guess what? I'm not going to fucking fail this time. I damn sure better not fucking fail this time. Plus, they've lost all this shit. I mean, yeah, I do. fine, 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 fine. Even Dola, fine. But, the Ravens are just a better team at home. We all know this shit. They're, what, 20, what, 22 and 3 in the last 25 home games? Fuck. So, yeah, taking the Ravens. All right, Sunday Night Football, Bears, Eagles, 
two division leaders facing off each other. And for some reason, here's, here's what I want to see happen as opposed to what's going to happen. I want to see the Cowboys lose and the Eagles win because then the Cowboys-Eagles matchup will be meaningless because if, because if the Cowboys and Eagles lose or if the Cowboys and Eagles win or whatever, you know damn well that the Cowboys-Eagles matchup will be on the last Sunday night football of the regular season. I know Eagle fans would like to see that, and I know Cowboy fans would like to see that, but I'm sorry, but no, 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 no. There's got to be, no, you got to have, there's, there's got to be better matchups out there than the same bullshit season after fucking season. However, I'm taking Chicago here. Expect, the, expect this one to be changed. It just depends on the Redskins Cowboys outcome. But yeah, for, but for now, I'm taking the Chicago Bears. All right, and the season finale of ESPN NFL Monday. Falcons taking on the 49ers. Niners, end of fucking story. No fucking doubt about it. All right, that's it. Till next time later, fuckers.